Welcome to Mexico Trip 2021. What's happening? All right, guys, today is the day we are heading into Mexico. I'm with a bunch of friends, a bunch of veterans, and one person with a little experience riding Mexico. Let me show you the bikes real quick. We're loaded up. We all crashed out in this garage last night. Well, we didn't sleep in the garage, but our bikes did. We're gonna head over to Wounded Warrior Project, meet up with one other veteran. Welcome to Mexico Trip 2021. Hello, Odie. <laughs> Welcome to Odie's B&B. That's right, man. Odie is so kind to put us up for the night. We had all these bikes stuffed in that garage. Uh, thank you so much for taking care of us, hey, brother. Hey, love you guys, and thanks for coming. Amen, brother. What's happening? It's Doc. How are you? I'll be riding my Ultra Limited Low. If y'all don't remember my boy Doc, we did some videos together in the past. Correct. Y'all should definitely Episode. go wash them. Hi, I'm Lori Lancaster, and I'll be riding my 2016 Street Glide Special down to Baja for some tacos. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time y'all have seen Lori on my channel, but we have talked throughout the Morsa community, share many mutual riding friends. She is experienced in riding out of the country. She's riding, I think she's got a bike sitting in Costa Rica right now, and she's the only one of us who has done this trip before. So her guidance is gonna probably be really important to you know making this trip as enjoyable as possible. Hey, how you doing? I'm Scott, and I'm riding at 2019 Heritage. Y'all might recognize Scott from my channel. He's been hanging out at my campground and traveling with me for like the last six months. He's an old friend, 20 year Navy veteran, and I'm just glad to have him along on the trip. And of course, I'm riding my 2017 Road Glide Ultra. Should be a fun, exciting ride with these bikes. <laughs> Sitting here at the Wounded Warrior Project. Our last rider just rolled in. Hey, how's it going? I'm Mark, uh, riding the 2020 Street Glide, and cruising with Adam. So Mark there is a retired senior master chief and a friend of Doc's, who Doc invited along, and uh, excited to have him as well. It's good to be surrounded by all these military. So I've got three retired vets and a lady who has experience in Baja. I feel pretty good about the trip. It's my first time riding through Baja, through Mexico. I've uh, visited on vacation many times. But this will be my first time riding. I'm excited to see what's ahead of us. I hope you all are too. Number one, we are at a place called Ortega's. A Lori is definitely uh, worth her weight in gold before we even get started, Lori. This is one of your favorite restaurants? Yes, it is. How, many, how many times have you been coming here? Oh, at least uh, three dozen. Three dozen. We got the boys, our veterans. We're about to get served. Village. Oh, yeah. They said they call this Lobster Village. We're sitting right on the, right on the ocean here. So we'll throw down some more miles after this. <laughs> this is definitely a first meal in Mexico, huh? <laughs> Way to get it. All right, y'all. I uh, thought y'all might want to see how we parked when we got to Mexico. That's something you think about. I don't think this would be a normal situation, but let's take a look at exactly how we parked. So that's a dirt road we came down right through here. Bikes are safe, man. These guys watched them. Even left the helmets on them. I guess we're staying on the ocean tonight. 
yeah, this place will work perfectly. Unreal. Look at that view. No, I think it's just a mirror. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. The ride in was beautiful. I have to say that I, say, I think the biggest issue is the road conditions, obviously. I mean, there was mud and dirt, even down some pretty nasty dirt roads, uh, mud roads, you might even say, uh, to get into this place. But man, the whole ride for sure. This is absolutely beautiful. The riding itself felt much like California. The mountains, uh, the way they cut in, the roads, uh, the ocean views, it really felt a lot like California. I think crossing the border was pretty crazy because uh, they weren't really checking IDs or anything. We went across, they just they just waved us straight through. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun, a lot of good people. Uh, tomorrow, I'm sure, is gonna have some more excitement. I'll talk to you all later, bye.